Simple steps for anyone who fills a prescription. ABC's Paula Ferris helping one family to save thousands. Carrie and Andrew from Lake Worth, Florida are living on the edge. Is this something that could ruin you financially? Absolutely. We're worried about losing our home. Like so many American families, they need and pay for several prescriptions every month, like high cholesterol and blood pressure medicine. Plus, Carrie has Crohn's disease and gets monthly infusions. Their son, Jared, is on a growth hormone. Then their worst nightmare. Suddenly, their insurance company told them they won't cover all of it. Now they're facing a $20,000 bill every month. Are you guys afraid right now? Yes. Yeah. So we brought in Michelle Katz, a healthcare advocate. Tip number one, check your bill like you do at a restaurant. Believe it or not, there are codes for your drugs and often they get them wrong. So we found one of those wrong codes, fixed it and immediately saved them $1,200. Tip number two, arm yourself with this app called Low RX, and here's why. Did you know drug prices fluctuate like gas prices? Different pharmacies can charge different prices for the same drug. Right. The app tells you the average price of your drug, including generics, then arms you with the address and phone number of every pharmacy in your area. We found one of Carrie's drugs $100 cheaper at Costco. Which brings us to tip number three. Even if you're not a member, you can still fill prescriptions at those big wholesalers. If I'm a non-member, I could still have my prescription filled here, no questions asked? That's correct. And that's by law? Yes. Tip number four, negotiate. It turns out if you go to those small mom and pop pharmacies, you can wheel and deal to bring the price down. You ready to negotiate? Absolutely. That will be $30. If I bring in cash, is there more bargaining power for the consumer? He goes back to check and when he returns, a deal. $12 for 90 pills. So because she paid cash, she saved $18. It exactly. went from 30 to 12. Mm -hmm. Correct. And tip number five, you can go directly to the big drug companies. Michelle kept at it for weeks, gave them proof of the family's finances, telling them Carrie might have to stop buying their drug altogether. We were there as they learned what was going to cost them over 17 grand a month will now cost them $411. Are you okay? I see it's here. It's a big burden. Yeah. Now I'm starting to cry. It's okay. Did you think that this would be possible? No. Great news for Carrie and Andrew. Uh, you're with us now, Paul. It's holding a Twitter chat tonight using the hashtag real money for people at home. But in the meantime, Costco, who knew? Yeah, you don't have to be a member. Head straight to the pharmacy. It's the law. All right, Paula Ferris, great reporting. Thank you.